Now, not everybody wants to try minoxidil. Sure, the results work for some people, but not everybody wants to use it. If you're looking for the four best topical alternatives to minoxidil, you want to watch this video. We're gonna cover it all from natural to pharmaceutical, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna give you the ultimate tip for maxing out any topical hair loss treatment that you use. So make sure to stay tuned to the very end. Hey guys, Leon here from hairgod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Guys, just before we get into the video on the topical alternatives to minoxidil, if you click the link in the description, you can get access to the hair nutrition plan. You get 21 delicious recipes designed specifically for faster, stronger hair growth. The meals are loaded with nutrients like biotin, zinc, and collagen to make hair as thick and strong as possible. And guys, without any further delay, let's get straight into it. Four topicals that you can use instead of minoxidil. At number one, we've got caffeine. So caffeine is one of the topicals where we have quite a good body of literature to go on, starting with absorption. We know that when applied topically, caffeine is absorbed very, very fast and very well. Two minutes are enough for it to penetrate the skin through the follicle, which is its preferred route of entry. The fact that caffeine is absorbed so fast explains why it can also be used as a shampoo, which we'll get to a little bit later. So when it comes to efficacy, we have several studies showing that caffeine is effective against hair loss. For example, this 2010 study found that after six months of use, 70% of men who used a caffeine-based shampoo saw improvement in their hair loss symptoms. But it was recently in 2017 when we had the first head-on comparison of caffeine against minoxidil. The study recruited over 200 balding men across five centers in India. They were randomly assigned to receive either a 0.2% caffeine topical solution or 5% minoxidil. Both treatments were applied twice daily for six months. The efficacy measure was the increase in the percentage of hairs in the anagen or growth phase of the hair growth cycle. You see, a hallmark of male pattern baldness is the alteration of the hair cycle characteristics. The anagen growth phase, during which the hair shaft is actually growing, shortens dramatically. And this is accompanied by a similarly dramatic increase in the duration of the telogen resting phase. So an increase in the percentage of anagen hairs would mean that the growth phase is being extended while the telogen phase is coming back down to a shorter, more normal duration. And indeed, the researchers found that after six months, the percentage of anagen hairs in the caffeine group had increased by 10.59%, compared to 11.68% for the minoxidil group. This small difference, it wasn't statistically significant, meaning that in principle, caffeine is just as effective as minoxidil. So guys, in recent years, caffeine has become increasingly popular in the hair loss community meaning that you can now find it in various shampoos and topical solutions. Alpacin are one of the more well-known brands and have a range of caffeine-based shampoos. And we've already done a video reviewing Alpacin as a caffeine shampoo, which I'll link you to in the description. Now, sadly, many of these caffeine-based shampoos that you can buy in the supermarket are laced with nasty chemicals like sulfates and parabens. This can cause havoc to hair. That being said, the Hair Guard Scalp Elixir is a topical spray that is meant to be used once a day prior to sleeping. It contains a blend of all natural ingredients that have been shown to fight hair loss and promote regrowth. And obviously, caffeine is one of the key ingredients amongst many others. Now, I'll link you to the Hair Guard Scalp Elixir in the description below. It's entirely risk-free to try, coming with a 180-day money-back guarantee. So again, the link is below. Guys, at number two, we've got topical finasteride. So topical finasteride is a great way of getting the protective hair benefits of this medication whilst avoiding systemic absorption, meaning that you minimize the risk of sexual or any other systemic side effects. And indeed, we have some very, very good data showing that topical finasteride is absorbed into the bloodstream at only a fraction of the oral route. But what about efficacy? Is topical finasteride as effective as the tablet? Well, the one published study that we have on this topic was published in 2009, and it found that after six months of treatment, topical finasteride gives more or less the same regrowth as oral. So on paper, topical finasteride looks like a pretty good proposition. And for guys out there concerned about the side effects, it could be worth exploring. The problem with topical finasteride is that you do have to prepare it yourself, given that it's only approved and sold as a pill, which literally means you need to crush the pills and mix them with some kind of vehicle. And since you will be putting this on your hair, the obvious vehicle to mix it with is usually minoxidil, which makes, you guessed it, finasteride reinforced minoxidil. But I did promise you a video on alternatives to minoxidil, 
So if you're not interested in the minoxidil, you can always create your own vehicle using ethanol and propylene glycol. Also, depending on which part of the world that you live in, you just might be able to get a doctor's prescription for off-label topical finasteride, which you can then take to your pharmacy and they can prepare it. Guys, I'll link you to a video that we've already made on topical finasteride down below. And number three, we've got Eclipter Alba. So here is a herb that you might have never heard of, even if you're active in the hair loss community. Eclipter Alba is actually a member of the sunflower family and it's found mainly in South Asia. It's packed with high value micronutrients and has a long tradition in Ayurvedic medicine, where it's been used for a variety of conditions, including, you guessed it, for hair growth. But we only recently got our first hand scientific data backing up its efficacy in the form of a 2014 paper out of Korea. The study compared an Eclipter Alba topical solution with 2% minoxidil. Both were applied daily on the backs of nude mice. You can see in these series of images the results up to 16 days of the experiment. The minoxidil treated mice are in the middle row, and they regrew some of their hairs compared to control mice at the top row. But this regrowth was basically nothing compared to what happened with the Eclipter Alba treated mice, which you can see at the bottom row of the image. More or less, the entire back fur regrew and this started to become apparent in as little as seven days into treatment. Histological analysis confirms that there was a dramatic increase in new hair follicles in mice treated with Eclipter Alba. As you can see in these series of slides, Eclipter Alba was superior to minoxidil and two other herbal extracts trusted in the study, namely ginseng and Asia Sari Vedix. Now, if you want to apply Eclipter Alba topically, one of the easiest ways is simply adding it to your shampoo. If you want a more dedicated application, you can apply Eclipter Alba on your scalp and massage it in on a daily basis. For this, you will need a base like coconut or sesame seed oil into which you add the Eclipter Alba extract. And finally, there's the option to purchase a ready-made topical solution. You'll often find the oil sold under its Ayurvedic name of Ruin Graj. Eclipter Alba is also an ingredient in the Hair God Scalp Elixir. Guys, at number four, we've got rosemary oil. So guys, essential oils have a long tradition against hair loss, going back centuries. Some of the most popular ones being lavender oil, peppermint oil, and you guessed it, rosemary oil. So rosemary is a herb that was originally native to the Mediterranean and is now grown all over the world. A 2015 study out of Iran compared rosemary oil against 2% minoxidil for male pattern baldness. 100 men with stage two or three baldness were randomly assigned to receive either the rosemary or minoxidil twice daily. After three months, neither group had witnessed statistically significant regrowth. That being said, six months into the treatment, both groups saw a significant improvement in hair counts. Furthermore, the difference between the two groups was not significant. So rosemary oil gave on average more or less the same kind of results as minoxidil. You can see here the before and after of a man treated with the rosemary oil. It's not dramatic by any means, but there is a clear visible improvement. Both the rosemary oil and the minoxidil were associated with increased scalp itching, but the increase was actually more pronounced in the minoxidil group. So the rosemary oil did appear to be actually better tolerated. The researchers also reported, and I quote, there was better treatment compliance in rosemary compared with the minoxidil group. This may be the result of decreased frequency of scalp itching and higher patient satisfaction with decreased hair loss in the rosemary group. Guys, let us know your thoughts on rosemary oil. Have you ever given it a try and how did it work for you? In the description below, I've also linked to a video of a fellow YouTuber who applied rosemary oil for six months. In this still, you can see the before selfie on the left and the after on the right. Again, not a massive difference, but clearly visible results. Basically, if you showed me these photos together with the earlier photos from the rosemary study, my guess would be that the men were taking minoxidil. And guys, remember, one of the best ways to max out the results from any topical treatment, be it minoxidil or some other chemical or something more natural, like the things that we've said in this video, is to microneedle. In microneedling, you use a needle bearing device called a derma roller to create countless microscopic punctures on the skin. These are not large enough to cause permanent damage to the skin, but they are sufficient to prompt the skin into releasing collagen and growth factors to repair and regenerate itself. Now, we've had some recent studies in recent years showing that microneedling will work on its own to regrow hair, but it really starts to shine when you combine it with a topical stimulant. And I'm not talking about a slight subtle increase in efficacy. I'm talking doubling, tripling, or even quadrupling some of the results that you'd get from the topical alone. You see, the microscopic punctures the derma roller creates in the skin allow the topical to be better absorbed, which obviously increases its efficacy. And this, in combination with the regenerative effects of the derma roller, drives hair count 
through the roof. Take for example this study published last year out of China. It compared the results of balding men who used either minoxidil on its own or minoxidil in combination with a microneedling session once every two weeks. After 24 weeks, the minoxidil only grew at 18.8 new hairs per centimeter squared, which compared to a whopping 38.3 hairs for the men in the combination treatment, a twofold improvement for a twice a month intervention. Or take this earlier 2013 report out of India. The comparison was between minoxidil on its own versus in combination with once weekly microneedling sessions. Here, the difference in new hairs between the two groups are fourfold. 22 new hairs on average for the minoxidil only group compared to 91 for minoxidil plus microneedling. This figure of 91 new hairs in an area of the scalp one centimeter in diameter is one of the highest that we've ever seen in the hair loss literature. And it comes with some equally impressive before and after photos. So simply add microneedling once a week and you multiply the effects of the topical that you're applying seven or 14 times a week. The math sounds pretty sweet if you ask me. Guys, if you want to learn more about the technique of derma rolling as where you can source a proper derma roller for hair loss, then check out the video on the screen now.